Hello, I'm Nitro something or other nine, and today we're back after quite a while for some for some wandering willows. Yes, cooked or tailored item is worth more than some of its ingredients. Wow, is that is my VTuber? You know that they're, they're working. I thought my VTuber was broken for a minute there, but it it, it does appear to be working. Uh, I've completely forgotten what uh, what quests we had on going last time, so... Okay, Molly wants a megaphone. And Professor Meeple wants us to dig for robot parts. Well, um, the, the robot parts will probably be around here, won't they? They wouldn't, they wouldn't send us wandering too far, would they? Give our little creature, what's, what's their name? Murphy. Oh. Two emeralds. Ooh, some seeds. We don't, we don't seem to grow f uh, flowers very often. There's not, there's not many quests. There were a couple at the beginning, I think, but there's not many quests that you really, you really need them for things. Trevor Scrimshaw wants Limeade. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the three quests we have ongoing right now. Let's, let's try to find the robot part. Oop, mushrooms. Nearly missed out on some, some very valuable mushrooms. Wow, a mega charm. What do we need for the, the megaphone? Plastic and paste. Okay. So plastic. We have the oil. We only have two oil. Hang on. What? Two plastic and one paint. Well, let's we'll make the paint so we have it to hand. And we can't make oil right now. Ooh, two robot parts that started promising. Let's get that apple since we know the, the the all the creatures with the the evolution type type character model are sort of the recolors of this guy all seem to like red foods. Yeah. So yeah, I've been away away from gaming for for a time now i've just been been very busy in my personal life and i've i've managed to get to the zoo a, a few times and eke out the footage I sh uh, shot there but i think i've got two very separate audiences uh my, my zoo audience are, are different from my from my gaming audience but uh i don't think i don't think you gaming people really care what what mishka and her cubs are up to right now um Mishka's oldest daughter Kira has recently uh, been transferred into a very, a very good captive uh, breeding program. She's been assigned, um, assigned a boy tiger in I think Sweden. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, right now in the tiger enclosure at Vanam Zoo, there is Mishka and the two, the two male cubs Cash and Kumi. I'm not sure if, if uh, Kumi's ankle is better yet, but. Um, yeah, but the announcement for Vanam Zoo makes it sound like she's just moved. So where have they been keeping an adult female tiger off show? I know they have animals they keep uh, off show at, at Vanam Zoo, the zoo I, I go to to film or, or one of them. But uh, those animals are like like British crustaceans that are off show because nobody wants to look at them and because they're part of an endangered species a British breeding program. So where has Kira been? It's, it's interesting to think about. Here you go, Professor. Interesting. Uh, they aren't breeding at all. They're just creating copies of themselves. They are learning and absorbing a vast amount of data well beyond their capacity. They've gotten so smart that they may have decided to ignore my remote control. My plan will be to amplify the signal via my satellite dish to bring all the robots back. I'll need a ton of materials to build this new transmitter. Would you lend me a hand? 
Oh yes, so I think uh, last episode the professor was trying to find out where all the robots came from and he, he assumed they were somehow mating with each other. But, but yes, apparently that's not the case. So Meeple needs plastic and Molly needs plastic. So we're going to have to dig for some oil. No. I always find it find it amusing these how they're uh how these are shipping animals all around the world uh based on based on uh who they think would make a good match for who it makes you think is there a is there a zoo animal dating uh website somewhere out there oh yes a, a, attractive attractive young tiger good at roaring seeking Genetically compatible mate for healthy offspring. I don't know. I don't think I don't think the animals write their own profiles. Oh. Been a bit sad though. Um, at uh, Africa Alive, the the other zoo I, I visit regularly, they have I like some grapes. Mm, didn't like them that much. An onion. Ooh. Uh, they have a uh, Somali wild ass, which. Um, by by looking at them, you wouldn't expect they were anything particularly special. They look sort of like regular donkeys if they were wearing zebra print leg warmers. They're just sort of stripy legged, uh, stripy legged uh, donkeys. But they're one of the, the rarest animals in the world. There's only 200 of them left in the world, and there is a captive breeding program for them at Africa Alive. Um, well, they they had a, a new baby born over the summer. And they've had to uh, evict one of the one of the uh, males from the herd, but maybe because he's mean towards the new baby. I, I don't know what the situation is there. Um, but he's been moved to Banham Zoo, where they don't have any other Somali wild ass. So he's in with the sheep in like the ch the children's petting area, and uh, it, it must be so undignified for him to be to be one of the rarest animals on the planet. And like, like three-year-olds pet him and say, oh, look at the silly donkey. Oh, I must be a bit undignified. Oh, they have they have him next to the, the sheep petting area. It's next to the, the maned wolves, a channel favourite. Uh, my most popular video ever, for like, no reason whatsoever. It's like just a video of a maned wolf eating some meat. That I think it's maybe the funny the funny title I gave it that made made people like it, but it, it's called Maimed Wolf's Dinner Time Shuffle, and they seem to be a channel favourite. Lots of lots of comments on them, lots of likes. I have a feeling uh, I'm very glad YouTube doesn't have smell -a vision because I have a feeling that if you smelled what they smell like, you wouldn't like them anymore. Uh, yeah, it's it's the, the whole sort of. The whole sort of corner they're in, they have a, a very big enclosure, probably probably so there's a lot of space for the, the stench to wasp, a very large forest enclosure. But even then you stand in the little the little viewing hut and you, you, you uh, smell them long before you can see them. And you rarely see them because <laughs> they, they are famously very shy. Uh, even their keepers don't see them very often. So, yeah, we need oil, and we're not finding it. Try to remember where we found- oh, no, the people in town want things as well. Uh, if we- yeah, we're finding a lot of chives. We have no need for chives right now. Uh, if we can't find oil soon, I will take on some other quests, just to, just to keep this video a bit entertaining. Uh, not me rambling about animals. Uh, shall I find some more animals to ramble about? Um, my eye supports are doing pretty good. Uh, the, 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 the definitely starting to get very cold. Ooh, mushrooms uh, near near where I live, and they they're definitely slowing down a bit for the winter. But they're they're eating their food, and there's a lot of them. And I've had the colony for long enough now that. Uh, 
there's probably sort of a lot of the the wild caught individuals remaining because they, they have a lifespan of about two years but they, they take two months to grow to maturity and i've had them for longer than that now so i look at some of the adults and i just know that that uh they've been lived their whole life under my care and i've kept them alive which was nice um my ball python mara is doing all right again uh winter it's always uh i've got a pretty good setup but it's always a little bit of a struggle to keep her warm uh my, my room is the warmest room in the house right now because because of all the snake heating uh but it, it can be a little bit of a struggle she's with it's, it's the, the few degrees uh 29 degrees celsius is the uh the sweet spot for for wall python so species but sometimes it gets down to 27 26 and it's a it's a panic to get her back up to temperature again with hot water bottles but yeah she, she's got a ceramic heat emitter and a backup heat mat that only comes out during the winter but uh she had a, a heat mat malfunction and burned her tummy when she was a baby so instead of putting them um on the inside of the enclosure under the uh, I used to have enclosures with glass bottoms, like under the glass bottom. I put them on the outside, so she it, the heat radiates through the the outside wood of the enclosure and uh, can't can't burn her poor delicate tummy again. But um, we think we think I think she's lost a tooth while feeding because uh, last time she ate, she got very very upset afterwards and appeared to be making sort of strange motions on one side of her mouth that is a little bit puffy. So, uh, they, they, they can lose teeth, it does just happen. Uh, the, the puffiness has gone down now, so we can assume it's fine. But, uh, next time she eats, if it looks like she's hurt, we'll get her to the vet. But, it's probably fine. They, they lose teeth, and I think, I think they regrow teeth. They only have, they don't have big sharp uh, fangs, they have little, little snaggly hook teeth. Oh. Dylan, my cat, lost a tooth as well. Uh, he, he's pretty old, so it's to, to be expected, but we don't know how. We just checked on him one day, and his bottom left uh, big big canine fang tooth was missing. But it came out cleanly, so he's he's good. Just a bit less a bit less efficient at, efficient at biting, which I think Ziggy in particular, out of our cats, is relieved at that. They are, they are the two that, that have conflict most often. What's next? Let's look at the mini-map, like this side of the mini-map where we used to find oil, or am I imagining that? Do you only find oil in the tropics? Let's try and, let's try and get over there and see if we have some oil luck. Hope you didn't hear that. There's someone meowing outside my bedroom door to get in, but uh, a lot of my cats are, are wire chewers. I don't want to chew the wires for my microphone and for my for my headphones, so they are banished until I finished recording. Just when, just when you want an item, you can't find it at all. Yes, it is plastic you want. Uh, like a, a commenter pointed out, I'm sorry I've forgotten your, your username off the top of my head, but it was a very, very kind comment uh, that uh, in one of my episodes I was looking for limes for ages. At one point in the episode I blatantly walk past uh, a lime tree. <laughs> We don't have much luck uh, charming this guy. Yep. Come on. Oh. I think Murphy is losing his touch a bit. Z. 
Oh, oil, yes. Uh, you can only make one plastic. But, so who's going... Hmm, Molly's been waiting longer, but the professor's plotline might be more interesting. I don't know. Once we once we get the required oil, who who shall we who shall we do the task for? Maybe let's, let's just let's just do the professor because he's closer. Unless we happen to wander closer to Molly while while we look look for oil. A lot of dye, but no oil. Onions, we don't, we don't particularly need them. And yeast, we're just, we're just accumulating a lot of, a lot of tat in our inventory, and I think we've already upgraded our, upgraded our inventory to maximum size. Oil, yes. Who's this guy? I'm sure we've seen him before, but... Burger? Yes. Oh, a lot of copper. Let's do, let's uh, do Molly's task. She has been waiting longer. What colours are we going to do the megaphone? Uh, black and white for the handle. There we go. Let's go and find Molly. Where is she? All the way on the other side of the grasslands. Oh, sorry, my, my chair just backed against uh, the radiator. Um, I've... I've done some reorganising in my room. I can now make videos at my desk instead of precariously sat on my bed with a board on my lap with my microphone on, with with my my microphone falling over all the time. I uh, hope. Oh, Jeremy Jack wants something. Ugh. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, the days of the sound of my microphone falling over are in the past now. Molly was trying to do something with the weird GIF monster, wasn't she? She's trying to attract the GIF monster. Okay, you might want to plug your ears. Ah, it's the ferocious wild GIF! Oh, aren't they majestic with all their frames of animation? Wow, she is so cute and not a monster at all. I've changed my mind. Let's keep this a secret. I'd rather not have the professor get any ideas. Ah oh, well, that's that then. Let's see what our arch nemesis, annoying child Jeremy Jack, wants out of us now. I need you to do something for me. Ow, I just got stung by a bee. Who's been agitating those bees? Um, quick, you've got to help me before it starts swelling up. I'm very, very allergic. My uh, tongue is going to swell up like a balloon. My mum used to jam a peach pit in my mouth so I wouldn't choke on my tongue. That worked. Well, that and I would always get milk and cookies after. Okay, so we have... We have milk, probably, and that's what he wants. We need cookie dough to, to make a... A sandwich cookie. You can say Oreo game. This is this is an obscure enough game. You're not going to get uh, copyright uh, struck for this. We don't have we don't have the recipe for cookie dough. How are we going to make it then? Maybe one of the the cooking shops in town will have it. 
they sell recipes? Yes. Am I missing it? I'm I'm playing on a very small window. It is enlarged on, on OBS for you to look at. Razor bread, toast. <laughs> you need a recipe to make toast. Oat packing, sprouted oat bread, apple tart, apricot tart, danishes, more bread, some pies, some crepes, some soup. No, well, Jeremy Jack is just gonna have to go into anaphylaxis and die. Oh, what a, what a terrible, terrible day this is. But we might, we might dig up the recipe or charm the recipe out of a local animal. We'll see. How you doing, kid? Psst, Nitro, you got to help me. I haven't had any sweets, starch, nothing since having gotten me on this diet. Can you sneak, sneak you some cookie dough? Oh. Oh, and a latte too. I'm dying over here without my morning latte. Let's bring him back fast and be covert about it. Oh, well, has he given us the recipe for cookie dough? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Silas. Okay. Let's just help Jeremy Jack out as well. Espresso. Tree. We need to go back to the tropics, don't we? In the meantime, can we make... Sandwich cookie. Can we cook chocolate? Yes, and oh, Jeremy Jack's life has been spared. <laughs> Wait, no, he still wants milk. It's not spared quite yet. We need to hurry. It's not a moment to lose. We wouldn't want Ordering Willows to lose lose its most annoying character, do we? Oh, sweet, sweet Jeremy Jack, my annoying boy. We're coming <laughs> to help you. <laughs> Just in time. I've already started hyperventilating. Here you go. Thanks. And he wants something else. Yeah, of course you do. What's happening, dog? Oh, I really got this guy online thinking I'm a girl. Doesn't he know that 80% of all females online are male? Wait, are you Space Bunny 187? I'm the voluptuous Space Bunny 187 in the flesh. Why don't you bring a bouquet to my tropical honey bunny? I hear the spotted birds and cats in the tropics have orchids. So now we have to be growing flowers. Uh. Great. Captain Whitaker. Jeremy Jack has been flirtatiously talking to Captain Whitaker online. Well, this is not the development I expected to happen in in Wandering Willows, but okay. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Ooh. Hello, Rufa. Let's let's charm you. Do we actually have any orchid seeds? Daisy seed, daffodil seed, sunflower seed, peony seed, rose seed. Six orchid seeds. Did he give them to us? No. He said we have to charm for the seeds. Okay. So purple, sorry I just banged the head for the, the microphone with my headphones. Purple orchids and wrapping paper. I think the, the colour of the flowers you get from growing a seed is random because I know there's a few varieties of daisy. But we could just see before we head over to the tropics to see if we can get this one ready now. Not from the sewing store, from the flower store. Buy a couple of them just in case. Oh, a faster growing watering can. We can, we can buy some upgrades to a watering can. Can orchids grow in the grasslands? Let's have a look. Let's just do one to test. Purple orchid. Mm, let's do a couple to test. Yes, it's growing purple orchids. And I think we need two. Don't we? we need two purple orchids for the recipe. Yes, so we can, we can stand here and stand idle. 
while all those lovely flowers are growing. Speed our guy. Oh, we have a fair bit of space left over. We need to give, give uh, Captain Whitaker his bouquet <laughs> once it's finished growing. And get some coffee beans for, for Silas. Maybe some limes for Trevor. Who was Trevor again? He was the pirate, wasn't he? Yes, all these all these new characters. Oh, we've done so many tasks, and look how far we still have to go. There'll be there'll be a lot of episodes in this series, I think, uh, viewers. Let's dig up that pile while we're here. Some some yeast. Wait for one more. Just stand here. Dead air. I'll, I'll twiddle my thumbs a little. Can, can you hear me twiddling? Yeah. It's probably, you can probably hear my, me twiddling my thumbs. Nearly there. Watching all the neglected pets that we haven't used. Oh. Okay. We can make that now. Okay. Pretty sure we have a bunch of batteries. So we're going to the tropics. Taking a while to load. Please don't crash on me. Yes, where is where there is Captain Whitaker? He'll be he'll be very surprised. Delivery from Space Bunny 187. Oh my, she is the best. Even though we've never met in real life, I've never felt such a connection with someone. I'd still love to meet her in real life, but you know, she's so busy. Did you know we were married in cyberspace last week? I'd love to make her a real wedding wing ring though. Could you bring me back some materials for a ring? Ugh. <laughs> I don't like this catfishing situation. Perfect. Let me just pop this into the ring matic and voila, a ring. Could you deliver this ring to my little space bunny? Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll deliver the ring to Jeremy Shah. Oh, but first... Silas wants a latte. You, you, do you grow or do you find? You have to find coffee beans, yes. Let's let's find some coffee beans then. I'm sure they grow in the tropics and not uh, in the. Hello, Deviant Art Lion King OC. How are you doing today? Let's see. Yes, those are nuts. Not. What a recipe? Apple glaze. Ooh. Can I can I cross the bridge? Oh no, that's a bridge back to the grasslands. Sorry, I was I was miscoordinated. Sally Blueberry wants something, but not right now. Let's just dig around in the dirt a bit while we're here. Ooh, the cherry glaze recipe. Mm. So we'll, we'll just have to find find some coffee. Ooh, oil, useful. Let's maybe go over here. And hey, we may even find Trevor's limes for his limeade in the process. Oh, 
an advanced pile. Let's yes, oil. Do I have enough though? No. Yep, I still need some more oil for for the old professor who we all know and love. There are some lemons, but they're not limes. Oh yes. Oh, is that enough to do the trick? It is. Good. So when we get back to uh to the see the grasslands, which I will do that. No, they're cocoa beans, not coffee beans. When we get back to the grasslands, which I will do for the end of this episode. We can give give Jeremy Jack his 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 delightful romantic wedding ring and uh talk to the professor to see what see what he wants. What did he want? <laughs> We literally, we literally did the first thing. Something to do with the robots. Oh, to make a controller to attract all the robots back to him to see what they're doing. Ooh, missed the glass there, but beans and a very tough pile indeed <coughs> walnut rum oh walnut rum cake um need to cook some rum whipped cream you can you can make alcohol in this game can you give it to your pets and make them drunk very responsibly? Have a tomato. There you go. Oh, we're near. We're near poor Trevor, who who we don't have limes for yet. His scurvy or something. He had scurvy, didn't he? Yes. So can we can we make Silas his coffee now? Yes. Oh wait, not quite. We still need sugar. We'd need milk from the store, but we can we can get that uh, back at the grasslands, can't we? Might buy some batteries for our teleporter since we've used it twice this episode. But it does uh, save us a lot of trudging around and the trying to think of things to say. So. Still loading, please don't crash. Yes. So we need milk. Oh, from here. Can we buy batteries here? Yes. We can make Silas his coffee. Here you go, Silas. What is that? Yeah, you don't think I know what you're up to. I'm standing right here. But honey, hand it over. It looks like someone has eaten their share of calories for the day. Oh dear. Sorry, Silas. Jeremy Jack next. Let's see what he makes of this proposal. Special delivery from one disillusioned online space hobby. A diamond ring! Oh man, he really is going overboard here. I think we need a virtual divorce. Also, I've been chatting with Foxy Vixen 667. <laughs> Aw, Yoohoo, Space Bunny 187. Is everyone on this island poly. like. not polyculing? <laughs> That's not the right word. Catfishing. There we go. Oh god, oh, I'm doing some Foxy Vixen 667. I think I'm going to be sick. Okay, so what was it next? 
Professor Meepole. We'll, we'll give him his his whatever he wanted, and then everyone except Trevor will be happy. Poor Trevor. Let me just construct my remote control amplifier. There. No, now stand back. Ooh. Well, hello there, little fella. Oh. Oh dear. Not the professor's sapper. Wow, doesn't look like the natives are too friendly. Oh dear. I was using that to get satellite TV too. Oh well, we've been, it's 36 minutes now, and I think that's more than enough wandering willows for one day. I have been your host Nitro9, this has been episode whatever, uh, whatever we're up to now with wandering willows. Uh, don't like, don't subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.